the issue is, as the Sheikh stated, is that the people don't learn. The people don't look what, uh, what authentic chain is. Like the brother who came, uh, his name is Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn Khalid, I think, or something like that. His, his question was, was out of ignorance of the understanding of hadith. He thinks that people, for example, today who authenticate a hadith or say, or say the hadith is weak, this is this is started today, for example, and this is just the opinion of Sheikh Labani. No, <laughs> this was at every age from the time of Prophet Muhammad. These people existed from the beginning, and these people used to authenticate the narration from the beginning. That even the, the companions, even though they accept that the other companions are trust, were they just companion? They used to ask for evidence, like uh, Abu Bakr Sadiq. Uh, some other companion have told him a certain thing. He says, "Who heard it from? Who, who other than you heard it from the Prophet?" And that doesn't mean that he's questioning his integrity. No. Because this is religion, he's making sure 100% that this information is true. So the process of authentication exist, existed from the beginning. Then when, when we reach the time of Bukhari, the major scholars of hadith accepted Bukhari to be the most authentic hadith, hadith book. Why? Based on the criteria he used. It was the most strict criteria of anyone to use in hadith terminology and hadith methodology, right? Now you say uh, if someone is, is, is criticizing some of a hadith of Bukhari, you have people who are under Bukhari, bring someone who's first from the level of Bukhari to criticize Bukhari. We have Imam al of course, he's, he's a major scholar, right? But he, his majority of his criticisms was that, oh, Bukhari, look, you have this criteria, but you didn't follow this criteria in this hadith. He's not talking about the hadith itself. He's talking about Bukhari's criteria of hadith. He says, you set a condition that a person must meet another person, for example. This person didn't meet this person. So you missed this criteria in this hadith. So criticisms are not what people think that they, 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 they criticize the hadith itself for necessity. No, sometimes they criticize the criteria that the person, he said, I'm going to use. I'm going to follow this criteria in my book, right? So the reason we accept Bukhari, uh, I hope I made this point clear. The reason we accept Bukhari is because it was the consensus of the Ummah. All the hadith of Bukhari exist before Bukhari. You can go, you can read it yourself, you can see it. We, it's not like we need Sahih al-Bukhari, right? But we accept it because of the acceptance of the Ummah of it.